time to share our joys and our concerns. And if you've got a joy or concern, please raise your hand for a mic so that everyone can hear. Jean Hendrick. Is that Kathy McClanahan's parents and Abby then? Okay. I have a joy. Um, my dad, he got a job at Sisters in the West this year. Well, good. That's a praise. What about that son at school? You got that? We need to praise for the fact that um, that little girl in Rogersville that was missing was found and mm -hmm. found, you know, relatively safe as one can be in the situation that she was in, and and uh, hopefully that, you know, that she's able to, to work through all of that trauma and everything and and go on to live a relatively normal and, and healthy life. But just you know, praise to all the people that kept looking for her. They there was a community wide search scheduled for mm -hmm. Saturday, and thank the Lord we didn't have nobody had to go down there and, and help search for her that she was already found. Mm -hmm. And the pastors, Joe. Oh, you do have a mic, don't you? Oh, it's on. Okay. Let's. Uh, let me just say my praise is <laughs> that I'm here today, <laughs> <That's right. laughs> and not laid up in a hospital in Dallas or somewhere where this accident could have happened. <laughs> 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 so, but I'm glad to be here. Uh, I want to thank everyone for all the support they've shown to me and my family during this time, and. Uh, I've got about five or six more weeks in the leg brace and two or three more weeks, I hope, in the wrist cast. And so just keep praying for me and praying that uh, uh, things will keep going well. Also, uh, we need to keep in mind uh, Becky Stapleton. Her mother-in-law died. And so let's keep uh, uh, that family in our prayers as, as they are. Uh, I believe the funeral was either last night or today. So let's keep them in our prayers. And her brother-in-law still her in brother the hospital. Her brother-in-law is in the hospital as well. Okay. Okay. Please remember Becky and Chris Stapleton and their families. Uh, also, I'd like for us to remember the Collier family uh, this morning in the loss of their son. And Carmelita Vickers, I understand, is at home and doing better, but she still needs our prayers. Anyone else? Sam Gentmeyer. big praise for us. Um, Anna finished a graduate of Virginia Tech on Thursday with a master's degree in materials engineering and, and she has a job. Uh, awesome. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, so we're really excited for her. She'll, she's gonna, she's relocating to Florida in, in uh, late July, early August to start a new job and we're just thrilled. So we're excited for her. And also um, Sydney has a, a boyfriend that was commissioned in the Army and he graduated on, on mm. Friday also. So we've had a big week. Thanks. Awesome. Congratulations. I'd just like to ask for traveling mercies. This, I'm going to my mother's this afternoon, and my sister and I um, are taking our mother to Alabama for a visit this week, and that we'll all get along and be back safely. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That you get back safely or you get along. <laughs> <laughs> say to say that thank you very much for the opportunity to come down and see the neighbors. Yeah. It's on. Uh, it is. Okay. Jackie Williams is visiting with us from North Raleigh, North Carolina, and we're real pleased to have him. And Welcome glad to see the preacher here today.
Yes. A lot of you know Sandy was hospitalized again this week with the virus. Uh, she's out, got her out yesterday afternoon, but still very weak. So continue to keep her in your prayers. Okay, Sandy Wright. Anybody else? Terry messaged me yesterday afternoon and um, just thought we would put it out there this morning that during this prayer time while Kenny prays, if there's anybody out there who would like to have hands laid on them for the prayer request that they sent, if you'd raise your hand, then some of us will come around and while he prays, we'll, we'll put hands on you. Anybody at all? Well, okay. I had an inspirational moment when he called her about praying and then talked to me about it in the kitchen. I said, well, I'll ask you, Terry. Well, so he asked me. And then I went to the house and was on the way to the house. And I thought, you know, I think me and Martha do a duo prayer. So I was going to have Martha pray first, and then I was going to pray, pray second, then go into the Lord's Prayer. So if you'll start off, <laughs> and then you'll do your prayer, and then I'll pray, and then we'll lead into the Lord's Prayer. We're able to come into your presence today, and Father, we come with you now, both hands and our prayers to you. Mm -hmm. Father, we lay our hands here now at your Lord's presence, but we lay our hands upon our sisters who are here this morning to pray for you. Father, we ask that you hear our prayer. We ask that your Holy Spirit would be comforting, mm -hmm. and we ask that your Holy Spirit would be guiding each and every one of us, Father, to be Almighty God, we thank you for this time of worship we can gather here with no fear of persecution, with no fear, Father, that we're going to be sought after. Father, we thank you for that freedom that we can gather in worship as a congregation declaring you as our Lord and Savior. Almighty God, it's a privilege to honor and honor, Lord, to be here and worship you. I pray, Father, that each of us will allow the Holy Spirit to move inside our, bond, our, our minds and our hearts, Father, and stir us to seek you more and desire you more, Father. Also, Father, as we lift up these prayers and concerns, we ask you, Father, to, to do our, what we want. We're asking you to do, bring healing and, 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 and comfort for the grieving and, and comfort for those who are suffering right now, Father. Father, we know you have all the power, and we're trusting you, Father. We're trusting you, your will. And, Father, we thank you that you chose to love us first. I pray, Father, that each of us will know the power of that love and the power of your greatness. And, Father, as we leave here later today, I pray, pray, pray that each of us will be bold in the name of Jesus, that we will speak out for Jesus and his love for the those who we're speaking to. And Father, as you taught your disciples, we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Is the kingdom and the power and the glory for. 